Okay, so course tools, assignment manager, chapter four. Preview. And here's one question. Determine a window that will provide a comprehensive graph. Now remember, most of these problems are going to be graphing. Okay. Going to be graphing on the calculator, and that's pretty much, you know. There's only 25 questions on the test, and 14 of them or 15 of them is bonus. So that leaves you with 10 questions. This is a 10 question test. So this, you're going to type in the calculator. Let's find our calculator. And it's going to be clear. Y is equal to clear. Square root of 0.5 square root. of 0.5 right key x to the sixth plus 24x to the fourth minus 130 x squared. I hate this calculator. Sorry, x to the fourth minus 130x squared plus 250 and graph. Now, of course, in a, with a y-intercept of 250, I doubt you're going to be able to see it. And you see it's right up there. We can actually zoom up, zoom out, and I'm going to move my cursor up here. Maybe we can see it a little bit better. Not really. So I'm going to do zoom uh, box. And I'm just going to do a zoom box just to get us in the area. And there we go. So if we go to window right now, I mean, we could put, I'm going to put in the negative 10, negative 8, because our y intercept is 250. So we know we got to have a y of 250, and 250 is kind of in, in the middle of these two. So I'm going to go with the first one and type in negative 8, positive 8, negative 500 and 500. And that gives us what we need right there. So I say A is good enough for me. OK, they want to do they want to do even better. So let's go with negative 10. Let me call up the calculator again. Negative 10, positive 10. I don't think this is, I don't think this one's, that, that'll stretch it too far. Negative 1,000 and 500. I mean, that's a little scrunched up compared to the first one. I still like the first one. But let's check the others. 
So I'm going to go to window. Negative four. Positive four. Negative 1,000 to 2,000. That 2,000 is too high. Okay. So far, that's better. So C is better right now. Let's see if that's the answer. Nope, must be D. So window, negative six, positive six. You have a work email. Negative 200. Yeah, I like that one. To 1800. So on one like this one, the best thing to do is to just type all of them in and see which one looks best to you. And evidently they think Delta looks best. Okay, next, United States makes it better, decreases it. Uh, that's the only one that's right. Divide the expression right here, divide. Now, you don't have to use long division on this one. So 21 X to the 6 over 7X minus 35 x to the third over 7x. So I just break it up into two. That'll be three. Six minus one is five. Five and three minus one is two. Three x to the fifth minus five x squared. And we feel good about ourselves. Same type question, 16x squared plus 32x to the eighth over 4x to the fourth. And that's going to be 4x to the negative 2 plus 8x to the fourth. And that's going to be 4 over x squared plus 8x to the fourth. Oh, that's a 12. Sorry. 12 minus 4 is 8. My bad. So 4x to the fourth. 4x to the eighth plus 8x to the fourth. Next. Maybe I should take some of these bonus questions off. All right, which one is X to the fifth? Positive X to the fifth. Well, let's take our handy dandy. Hold on just a second. Take my red pen out. It's not this one. And it's not this one, why? 
Why is it not B or C? Why is it not B or D? That means I want somebody to talk. Because it's a positive coefficient with a uh, odd polynomial. It's an odd degree. Odd degree and positive means C. This is negative. This is a negative coefficient. For odd. This is negative odd. This is positive odd. So C is your answer. Wait a minute. What do you mean my input is incorrect? That's right. X to the fifth, if you type in X to the fifth, Y is equal X to the fifth power. What does that what does that look like? Maybe I need to zoom out. Okay, somebody oh, tell me. That's not, that's not the leading. It's the uh, negative pi x to the six. Oh shoot. Okay, my bad. I didn't read the question. My bad. Look at They did a little trick question. So let me erase my X's. And this, that's, that's crappy. Here is the leading term. I didn't even see it. All right, so that means that it can't be this one and it can't be this one. All right, we know a negative, a positive even will give you this one. This is a negative, so it's not this one. It should be B. Thank you for whoever told me that. I didn't even see, I didn't even look. They tricked me on that one. Next. Which of the graphs, which one of the graphs is that of a function whose range is not negative infinity to positive infinity? Not would be, well, this one, let's change it to green. This one is positive infinity to negative infinity. This one's positive infinity to negative infinity. And this one's positive infinity to negative infinity. So that leaves B. The range here is like negative 100 to infinity. Whatever that point is right here. That looks like. 25, 50, 75, 100. Yeah, negative 100 to infinity. I need to go back and make this test more difficult. I'll fix it after class. What do y'all think? And nobody says a word. What's got y'all? What's what's got y'all in a pissy mood today? Y'all not talking to me? Did I? Y'all y'all mad at me or what? I think the test is fine. <laughs> well, somebody better say something. Set being weaned on a pickle. Zero zero six x to the fourth. And I didn't hit y is equal. Dang it. Point negative point zero zero six x to the fourth 
plus 0 0.140 x to the third minus 0.53 x squared plus 1.79 x. Okay, looks like I'm going to do a zoom box. I'm just going to get the two bands. Looks like we've got a little bit of a min right here and a max right here. So I don't know what they're going to ask. Let's see what they ask. All right. Blizzard's concentration of a dye in the bloodstream X seconds after it's injected. Does the concentration increase between 14 and 15 seconds? We'll go to the window. Our table, second table, and check between 14 and 15 seconds. Does it increase? Yes. Yes, it does. If you miss a question on a test and you believe it is correct, now we're going we're gonna to read this one a couple of times, all right? Because this is the question that I got two or three emails on from different classes, different students. If you miss a question on a test and you believe it is correct, what do you do? And I want somebody to answer it. B. It's B. It's not C. It's not send Hubert 15 pictures of 14 questions. It's not uh, copying and pasting the question. It's not, don't, don't do any of that. All you got to do is ask to see me after class. Zero has been placed. Okay, let's make sure that this one's not in written in different order. X to the seventh. So it's not X to the seventh. It's not this one. And it's not this one. Is X positive? Yes. So it's not this one. Should be B, unless I'm reading the question wrong again. Determine a window that will provide a comprehensive. So again, you're probably going to have to type it in each window to find the best one. But we do know that we got a y-intercept of eight. So it might be these two because let's see, where's the y-intercept? The the y from five to six thousand. So I don't know. Might be the first one, but we'll see. So let's uh. Let's graph it. Y is equal to 0.62, I'm going to clear it, 0.62x to the third, 0.62x to the third, minus 5x squared, plus 11x plus 8. And hit graph. 
No, that's a pretty good rendition right there. Let's see what the window is. Negative eight to 23. And negative 900 to 900. I'm just going to hit B. Well, Let's go ahead and type in negative 50 to 100 and negative 500 to 6,000. That's kind of scrunched down. So let's go to the next one. I don't like that one. So let's go to the next one. Window. Negative 20 by 10. <sighs> Negative 3,000 and 2,000. That's a little bit better. I would say, yeah, that one's a little bit better. We go B is the, right now. B is the is the winner. But let's go ahead and type in the last couple. Window negative one hundred by ten. Negative And negative 7,500. And 1,000. Uh, that one don't put it in perspective. So right now, B, let's do the last one. Negative 30. Instead of one, you put, I mean, instead of a thousand, you put one. Oh. Let me do that one again. Negative 100. It's a whole lot easier to do this with your finger than it is with a, with a mouse. Still not a very good, still not a very good window. Let's try the last one. Negative 30 to 80. This one might work. And negative 8,000. And 4,000. Between B and D, anybody want to pick one? I like B. That doesn't mean anything. It's either B or D. They like D. I think these these are a little bit subjective. Uh, because you may like a view that's total opposite. So I'm, I might be a little bit lenient on that one if you get it wrong, but try to go with their thinking. I guess D is a little bit better. I don't think it is. I think the reason B is not the answer is because it cut off part of quadrant one, and I think that's why. Next. Oh, there's our division. So let's see what we can do on this one. 5x minus 1 
into x squared minus one fifth x. We can't see the paper. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting there. Minus three. All right. Now everything's in order. I'm going to mark my kite. Here's my kite. How many times will five go into one? One fifth times. One fifth times five is one. And x times x is x squared. One fifth times one is one fifth x. And we always what? Subtract. We always subtract. That's going to make this a negative and this a positive. And that side always goes out. Left side's supposed to go out. And that leaves you with 0x minus 3. And that's not going to go in anything. So your answer is 1 fifth x with a remainder of negative 3. Or 1 fifth x plus negative three over five X minus one. Question, great, complaint. So which one is it? I believe it's this one. Be a negative three. This one right here. Oh yeah, I need to give you some more difficult questions. Uh, he takes the highest grade. There we go. Two X minus three, that looks good. Into negative six X to the third plus 19 X squared minus 23 X plus 12. Everything's in place. Give y'all a minute to work on that way. I have a yawning attack. While y'all working on it, I'm going to pull up the roll. All right, Arabia Bronson Cash. Arabia Bronson. Oh, I have to turn this off. Hold on. Bronson Cash. Cruel Davis Kelly. Cruel Davis. The Alice's are not here. Kelly. Okay. Malata Maxim Stone. Malata. Okay, so Lynch is not here. Lewis is not here. And 
Kelly is here. Melota Maxson. Matney is not here. Stone Styles, Vienna, Melbourne. Stone Styles. Turn. Nobody's here today. What's the matter with y'all? Stone Styles, Vienna, Yarborough. So far, the only people I've got half, let's see, Bates, Boatwright, Ellis, Ellis, Lewis Lynch, Matney, Ogawa, Parisi, Ramey, and Wilder. Heck, oh. Make sure I got all this. It's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. I guess today's layout day. It's Monday, okay. Well, that doesn't excuse people from going to class. Yeah, and if it rains a drop, do we have class today? Y'all use any excuse. Oh my gosh, I have to, hold on a minute. I gotta take the, you know, the uh, attendance tracker. It's supposed to be attendance tracker, you know, that keeps up with attendance, but I'm supposed to type in the last date of attendance for those that don't show up. What, attendance tracker, what? I, I thought that's what it's supposed to do. This is so ridiculous. Oh, I'm coming a mile away with this software. Any y'all work for a company that the boss is like not computer literate? Well, I work for a I work for a school that's not computer literate. And they keep buying stuff that's not tech savvy. They keep buying stuff that's like retro. An attendance tracker that doesn't keep up with the last date of attendance. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna bite my tongue. All right, so here we go. Looks like everything X to the first, X to the zero, third, second, first, zero. So all place values. Let me highlight my kite because I don't want to worry about that. I don't want to worry about that 2X. How many times will 2x go into negative 3x cubed? Well, that will be negative 3x what? Squared. That's going to be negative 6x cubed. Negative 6. 
I'm sorry, negative 9 being positive 9x squared. And we always subtract. So that's going to be a positive and that's going to be a negative. And of course, that left side goes out. What's 19 minus 9? 10x squared and 23x comes out to help out. 2x will go into 10x 5x times. 5x times 10x is 10x squared. And 5x minus 3 is negative 15x. You always subtract. So negative 23 plus 15, I have no earthly idea. 8, somebody help me out. Be a negative 8x. And 12 comes down to help out. Did y'all check negative 23 plus 15? Yeah, it's yeah. negative 8. Okay, good. And 2x will go into negative 8x, negative 4 times, negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. You always subtract, and that makes this a positive and this a negative, and that cancels. Oh my gosh, this is so... I, I need to go back and change this test. I think the test is fine the way it is. No, I think I'm, I think I'm going to go back and change it after class. Negative 3x squared <laughs> plus 5x minus 4. I mean, it's only two sections. Y'all should. I mean, it should be an easy test. OK, use the behavior analysis. OK, first of all, it's a negative odd function. So that's going to take out, let's take out the ones it's not. Well, it's not this one. And it's not this one. So it's either negative 2x to the third or positive 2x to the third. Well, I've already established it's negative because it's going the opposite direction. So good. Gracious, that was an easy question. And submit. OK. I feel good about myself. Now that's not difficult, people. Any questions about the test? Okay, well, I'm going to let you go, and this will be, that's the review over the test, and y'all should be finishing up.